Okay, we have stopped for, it's a pretty late lunch now. What time is it? Do we call this dinner? It's late lunch, early dinner. Uh, and we stopped at this little restaurant here that specializes in Sichuan food. And I've got to tell you guys, I am pretty excited looking at this menu. Um, I saw these dudes stuff like a, quite a long time back on Instagram and noted it somewhere I wanted to check out. And they've got numbing and spicy frog legs in a copper pot, hot pot, roast sea bass, chili fried crispy chicken, boiled Love frog's that. legs Szechuan in hot chili, chili they've got Chinese lamb cabbage and jellyfish, salad, well. like braised lamb, lamb with tofu as well. skin, so, man, chili fried soft soft crab. Soft crab, braised, oh, I just love, I, just, I love food like this. Can we eat all of that? I don't know if we can eat all of that. Okay. Sichuan province, China, uh, a landlocked area in the southwest of China, incorporating an area known as the Sichuan Basin, or the Red Basin, apparently known to locals as the Land of Abundance. With a subtropical climate and 350 frost-free days a year, this place is an agricultural mega hub. Uh, it grows many of the things that sustain this region's famous cuisine, including the Szechuan pepper. Uh, we checked out one of London's best kept secret Szechuan food spots for a little spot of afternoon lunch. Shh. So we are in Khaki. Khaki? Do you mean that's a Khaki or Khaki? Khaki. It's right on this regenerated part of the Regent's Canal in London. The Regent's Canal is this, uh, it's an amazing canal. It links the whole of West to East London uh, and it actually runs all the way up to Birmingham. This part of the canal, we're right on a, in fact, let me show you where we are, come up, cover me. We're right on a part of the Islington Canal now, down there, we can see, canal. So we're right on this part of the Islington, of the Regent's Canal, which has been um, fully regenerated. So this whole area of King's Cross um, used to basically be this very industrial area, clubbing area. There's a club called Bagley's that anyone my age would have been to if they were flailing reprobates back in the day. Um, and all that's gone now, it's been wiped out and there's a place called the Coal Yard. It's been totally gentrified. Um, all the old gas works have been turned into private apartments. And I've got to be honest, I've got to be honest, it's gentrification coming along really nicely. It is. Like, I used to live on the canal on one of the narrow boats and this part of the canal, that part of the canal right there is the part of the canal where you would throw a body in. Like, I'm not joking, it was pitch black, no one around, dirty and horrible. It's like outside cinema events and a book shop on the canal and live music and all sorts now, so gentrification. But in nice. this case, gentrification coming along very nicely. We just lost Bagley's, but I don't go raving anymore anyway, so no loss to me. Szechuan pepper. If there is one single ingredient that makes this cuisine stand out amongst everything else, it's this. Although not officially a member of the pepper family at all, this spice acts as kind of a fragrant, spicy, numbing agent. An article in the scientific magazine The Smithsonian reports that the compound responsible for this numbing sensation is called Hydroxy alpha sanshul. Sanshul being taken after the Japanese word sancho, which apparently literally means mountain pepper. So this compound attaches to our feeling receptors and gives us feelings of vibration or numbness. Now there's a million and one things I read up about the medicinal properties of this peppercorn, but mostly we love it for its gastronomic purposes. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you. Guys, light like now to see food.
What a feast. Let's start with the frog's leg. Look at these. Doesn't taste like chicken. This is so good. Wow, it's really spicy. So the frog's legs, let's talk about them. Very small bones, like to say what everyone always says, like perhaps a very tiny chicken wing. So they're very hard to eat um, in a manner that is, um, yeah, you have to spit the bones out basically while you eat them. Actually, hang on. I should ate some of the bones. I think you can just eat them. There's that one big one here. And the other ones, you can just smash. Because you're a big human animal. With teeth that were made to crunch bones. So that's easy. They are delicious, mate. Oh my god. Frogs are very um, light taste. What does that even mean? It's like a delicate chicken. But it has this kind of, um, it does have this from the water thing going on. Perhaps similar to like um, a monkfish. It's firm meat, but there is something distinguishable. It's not as meaty as chicken. It's more delicate. It's akin to crocodile or alligator in a way. Um, yeah, but yum, really delicious. Right, that's the frog goes. What else is going on? I've got crispy chicken over here, chili chicken. It's amazing. Okay. And then over here, let's try the street style hot pot. And see all the hot Szechuan and chili oil here. Just, oh man. You don't want that in your clothes, on your clothes, but you do want that in your face. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So the hot, like numbing sensation of the Szechuan pepper. Szechuan pepper's interesting, it, it, <laughs> it numbs you rather than just gives off pure heat. So the chili gives kind of a heat and the Szechuan pepper gives this tingling, numbing sensation. Have a look what's in here in the hot Szechuan chili oil. We've got some amazing um, blood cake. And then I just realized we've got this really, really good Slices. Oh, that's an oyster mushroom. You got oyster mushrooms. And there was a slices of pig's ear in there as well. Not that. Pig's ear is, um, so it has um, this bit of thin cartilage in the middle. I couldn't find a piece. I think I ate the only one. It has a thin piece of cartilage in the middle. Then it's gelatinous on the outside. And then a thin bit of meat on the inside. So you bite into two thin soft bits with a little crunch in the middle. This kind of crunch, crunchy, Gelatinous, a tiny bit of meat. Good. Tastes like crunchy, gelatinous pork cartilage. Do you remember, do you ever read um, Lord of the Flies? Conch is that big shell that they used to blow in Lord of the Flies to make the, the a sound. So it's a big, basically, shellfish, essentially. And um, some people used to have them on their bath. But yeah, I remember it from Lord of the Flies. This is the conch. What a dish. I would travel for these dishes. I'd travel for this conch, man. Mm. It's sweet, delicate, fishy. It's not, it's got a tiny bit of extra bite and chew, but it's really soft. Let's try more hot pot. I mean, if you're passing, come here, come here. For God's sake, come here and eat the Szechuan food. It's, it's phenomenal. Really, really good. Cheers. Guys, what are your favorite Chinese dishes of all time? Let me know now, write it in the comments. We're gonna do a deep dive soon. Um, check out this video if you like this, and don't forget to like, subscribe, all the good stuff, chin chin, can pie. We'll see you next week.